Hey everybody, XCI here for a Let's Watch trailers of Final Fantasy IX and Final Fantasy X. I blind clicked the links uh, to these four videos that were sent to me um, just because I have a few minutes and I feel like I, I wanted to watch something. I kind of wanted to see what this is all about. Uh, and I have very little to say about these games because I don't know very much about them. I played the hell out of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I bred the hell out of Chocoboos until I had a whole stable of golden Chocoboos. Why? Because I can. <laughs> Could. Can. I feel like sometimes it's still with me. But the I had one black chocobo because you needed one black chocobo to then finally get the gold. And then I had a whole stable of them. And man, I would finish I would you'd have to go into these the races. You guys know if you've played Final Fantasy VII, you do the race. But like they were mine were mine were mine were so fast that they would I would have to wait something like seven minutes for the race to end, for the second place to happen so that I could just do it again uh those were the days huh um and then final fantasy 8 i i played i was pretty i wouldn't say addicted to 8 i felt like i was addicted to 7 uh 8 was one of those games that um i wanted to like more I enjoyed Squall quite a bit. I enjoyed the style of it. Maybe it's because it went like more realistic. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe I just, seven was the first one I played. And so I felt like those graphics really kind of stuck with me. Um, and Cloud, I really like Cloud and Strife. And I, uh, uh, what? Strife, <laughs> Sephiroth. I really like the, the kind of that dynamic and the story of seven was really good. I'd be really tempted to play seven if they ever made the remake. Um, which I think is in production. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, which leads me into the next points I was going to say. 9 and 10, I recall watching parts of, um, watching someone play parts of. And out of continuity, it was just like I'd go over, they'd be playing it, i watch it. And so I know one has, I think, a main, the protagonist has a tail, a cat tail. <laughs> That's all. And they're kind of more cutesy or cartoony. I think I remember something like that. And then I remember one of them having a soccer thing to it. It was like he was playing some soccer game or something like that. Or maybe that was the beginning of the game. I don't know. But those are the two things I remember from 9 and 10. So I know nothing else. Uh, past 10, I have no idea. Folks, I have no idea. There was a point there where everything just blurred because I was like getting caught up in a bunch of stuff. Then I stopped gaming and all this. So I think they're on 15. And wasn't it like an MMO? They started going multiplayer with it or something. I know something like that was happening during World of Warcraft era and City of Heroes and all that stuff. So, uh... I know they never follow like the storyline of the ones that came before. It's sort of just another another Final Fantasy. Uh, so I don't know would I, would I play nine and ten. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I would I would consider it. I'd heavily consider it. But right now I I remember those games being super long because of just some of the tediousness of the leveling. I you probably don't have to do what I the kind of stuff I do, but. I do the kind of stuff I do, so it's gonna it's gonna be a, like a hundred plus game for sure, right? I don't know what the time, what the, what the run times are on these games, but uh, yeah, I mean I'd consider it. I I bet you I'll watch this trailer and I'll probably consider it more. But let's just get started. The first one I have loaded up here is Final Fantasy IX official PC trailer. I didn't even know it was a PC game. I thought they were all consoles. So here we go. Let's watch the first one. Hopefully the volume is controlled this time. Man, it was loud. I forgot this. It doesn't matter. There we go. Oh, let me talk about the music in a sec. Oh, there's a cattail. This is okay. So this is nine. Soccer game is ten. It's the final soccer fantasy. That looks great. Oh. Wait, this is the actual trailer. It is a trailer. I'm like, no, this is a fan video. This is the trailer. No, it's a trailer. Is there a Sid in there? Did I miss Sid already? Gotta love them airships though. They're all reminiscent of past characters from 7 and 8 for me. I'm having a hard time separating. Ba Bahamut. Oh, uh, Knights of the Round. Uh, oh, Chocobus! <laughs> I don't know, I've just invented, I don't know. Okay, so the graphics are still kind of. I, I, I'm a fan of this kind of graphic. I am, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there's something. Uh, it's just fun. It's just fun. And it's like seven, but like done up a bit. Okay, these are like the cinematic sandwich. They were even good in seven. They were good. They were great in eight. They were great in both of them. Comes to PC. I didn't know that was a PC game. Man. 
Interesting. Damn. All right. Okay, well, I didn't really get the plot of that. I mean, a, a cat pirate. That cat pirate dude is your protagonist, I suppose. All right, so that takes us to the next one. Final Fantasy IX launch trailer for the PS4. So maybe they're different for PC, PC and PS4, maybe? Or are we just going to rewatch now? Do I need a reason to help someone? No, you're the hero. You're the Final Fantasy protagonist. You... Is it more airship focused? I'm getting a bit of an air. Uh, what's it called? Cloud Castle sort of feeling. Got the Black Mage in there. Is it from 2? I started playing some of the older games back in the day. 20, almost 20 years ago. Never got through them. They bugged out. They'd stall. Played one with a werewolf in it, I think, or comets or something like that. That's all I remember. <laughs> something about moonstones or werewolves or, I don't know. Some desert. I got stuck in the desert. It kept crashing. It sounds sort of tempting. I reminisce. Really, the adventure PlayStation 4. All right. Hi, Tika. <laughs> Tifa. Oh, my God. All right. They always did it well. I don't know why I never played more Square games, to be honest. They, I, I mean, I didn't play a lot. Of them. I played Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII, but um, were those the only two? I feel like I've played other games kind of similar, but I never remember the names of them, ever, ever. I know one had Dragon in the name, possibly. There was something with Gauntlets. Uh, something maybe had Legend in the name. <laughs> Legend of Gaia, is that something like that? Anyways, uh, Chrono Trigger is something I never got the clear, uh, not even clear. I played it for a little bit. Um, I forget how far did I get into Chrono Trigger? A couple hours, but I don't remember anything about it. It felt very confusing to me 20 years ago. Um, maybe again, I wasn't paying a lot of attention. And since then, I've learned that people who love Chrono Trigger love Chrono Trigger. So, and there's some time stuff in it, which is probably what was confusing the hell out of me. I wasn't prepared for it. So it might be something I really appreciate today that I possibly didn't, I wasn't fully on board of in the old days. Okay, now we have Final Fantasy X and, and X2, X2, Part 2. Okay, Return to Spyro trailer. Let's do it. PS4. Boop, 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 boop. We got a PS4. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, okay, that is the guy I remember. That's 10. That's a soccer dude. Oh, hey, look. Reminiscent of 7 again. Now oh, the pawn with the thing. Ethereum. I'm sure they're all different. I mean... Oh, more air stuff, so they're really... Ooh, maybe not. This water. <laughs> Airships that are ship ships. Why do I remember soccer? Why is that a thing? Am I inventing this stuff? Oh, 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 oh what was the name of that one? Oh, 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 <laughs> I remember that one. Shoot. Oh my god, 200. Did you see that number? Did you guys see that number? That's like a 300 hour game for me. It's a 300 hour game for me. <laughs> oh. Graphics are still nice. They're old, but I like it. I like this style so much. I mean, it's neat. It's neat. Okay. And then finally, what are we looking at here? We're looking at Final Fantasy X, X2 HD Remaster, and a North America launch trailer, The Summoner's Journey. All right, PlayStation, here we go. Okay, so come mix scenes here. Uh, mix scenes, scenes from the old, the previous trailer.
Ah, the Efreet. That was it. I love the Efreet. I use it so often. I don't even remember why. Shiva. Are they always the same? I didn't actually. I didn't know that. Was it? Were they in eight? They were. They were. They were. What? I'm getting confused now. Ah, uh, Yojimbo. The hell? Oh, it's an interesting uh, mashup of. Uh... Ooh, I like it. I still haven't seen anything to do with soccer. Not a thing. Is that 11? Is that Final Fantasy 11? Let's do it. <laughs> That's the other thing I loved about Final Fantasy. At least the two I played. It's just the way that the character, the way they designed the characters. They were they were interesting. They were intriguing. They always felt like unique. Even though I'm seeing similarities, like I feel like there's like callbacks and stuff, but they feel they feel unique, like memorable. All right, well that's that. I, what do I I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's just a lot of hours. <laughs> it's a lot of hours. I figure there's going to be a point. I don't know, sometime in the future where. I have uh, more of a consistent schedule where I can just, I can really focus on stuff like this. I don't know. I have to look at my list again and see what's out there. Like I want to play, this isn't the, this isn't the episode to be talking about this stuff, but I want to play like the Star Wars ones. Uh, so I don't know how long those are. There's other like bio, old Bioware games that, you know, I wouldn't mind playing. So those are probably in the hundred hour mark. But uh, when we're talking about like mega games, I, you guys will let me know, but like Persona games, I should watch those trailers, the Persona trailers from one to five, because you guys want me to play five, but you're, some of you want me to go all the way to one, but how am I going to do all that? Anyways, then there's, then there's Final Fantasy nine. I play, I think nine look, but I would say between these two, between nine and 10, there's some neat, neat, uh, ideas in 10, but they didn't, they didn't give me enough for me to understand what I was signing up for. It just felt like a generic fantasy game. If that not really generic, I feel like I'm being harsh on the trailers, but it's just like, it felt like a lot of just, I don't know, a game without, like, I didn't know it. I, I have no, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. It didn't feel like I understood what I was signing up for in terms of the, what, what, what's this journey. And I guess that's the thing you, did I know this for Final Fantasy VII? No. Did I know this for Final Fantasy VIII? No. I mean, that's part of the experience of playing these games is that things happen in that first, you know, that first act, and then you you set up uh, the game and you get all you get you get pulled in into the story and and you're on your Final Fantasy. Um, but but maybe it's the character designs they were neat, but there was something about them that wasn't really pulling on me. Uh, Nine, on the other hand, felt like it was maybe it was the design. Uh, maybe it was still that cutesy look still had something going for it like them like the models were more you know they, they had more like i don't know they, they were older but for some reason older felt neater to me it felt like a neater experience that i would like to have so i mean this is a playstation 4 game as well right so i mean i'm looking i've seen a lot of games stacking up here on playstation 4 all of a sudden so i don't know we'll see the fact that nine is pc I'm probably going to at least look into it and add it to a wish list. I'm going to check Steam, for example, although I have a hard time believing these games are available on Steam. But I'll take a look. I'll, I'll take a look and I'll check the I'll do my run my equation on the how long to beat. But again, I say this, but it's still I still have no idea when I'm going to have the time to get to all of these games. So I uh, don't hold your breaths because you will uh, pass out and then die. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> that was morbid i'm gonna end this here uh i do love the i love the idea of final fantasy here's what oh, no i'm not gonna end this here here's what i feel like final fantasy i feel like is one of those properties where um square enix like they they put their time into these games and they they make them come out and i know that there was that controversy for one of the versions and then it like turned around and it became like something really good maybe that was the mmo i don't know it just really uh indicates the kind of devotion that this studio puts to making good quality games or at least fixing things like like uh admitting 
to what they've done wrong and then doing what they can to fix things uh, and set things right. And that's something that I can appreciate that <laughs> today, especially in today's market. So, um, but the thing I wish they did more of for Final Fantasy is they should they, like where like they should they should have comics, they should have anime like car like cartoons. Like this is an IP that can really blow up you know and it's but it's been so focused in the game i know there's the movie i own it i know there's like i like i know there's things but um i feel like there should be more you know and because each game is like the standalone thing they never really have i mean seven is still kind of the game i keep hearing about like and i know there's a remake so for some reason seven really landed with a core audience um and that world that world of final fantasy whereas the other final fantasies i feel like i don't know anything about them they they literally they they're off the radar completely off the radar whereas seven is very distinct there's something about that story that just landed culturally and uh yeah i i don't know i feel like they should do more they do they should do more with this ip man so yeah that's all i have to say i'd buy toys <laughs> I buy figures. I buy well, I love I love well designed figures. I mean, yeah. If I were to buy any it, it, Final Fantasy Seven, I'm sure there's like figures out there. I just if I don't see them, I won't feel the need to buy them. So that's what, the way we're gonna keep it. Okay, that's it for this. Let's watch. I don't know what's up next. Uh, these are sort of random. Uh, they're kind of fun to do when I have uh, 20 minutes I can put aside. So uh, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, buddy. Peace.